welcome to the channel it's uh, Rad and uh, in this video we are going to check for a cancer and their experience into the month of November um, <clears throat> through the eyes of tarot so that's going to be a tarot reading for the month for cancer sun cancer moon and as well cancer rising and uh, if you are interested into uh, having a personal reading with me you can always uh, go to my website uh, which link you're gonna find in the description uh, down below and uh, if you don't want YouTube algorithm to decide for you what you want to watch uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as well so with that uh, said let's uh, do the cut and uh, see what we have right the first card for cancer uh, that's going to be the justice Followed by uh, the star is the second card. Moving on next uh, for you guys, uh, we do have the five of pentacles. And the final one uh, for you, that's going to be the world. Uh, this is the final prime card. Uh, there are going to be more cards in the spread. Uh, so just as an overview here uh, it, it does look like that this is going to be a busy month for you regardless where actually the activity kind of like unfolds whether career whether a personal life uh, or maybe in both places nonetheless you will be required to be at few places at once and also there are going to be um not unavoidable but more like a um enterprises that you just can't postpone so they are unneglectable so to speak a uh, stuff that you will have to attend uh, attend to towards the middle of the month uh, the things are gonna get really good for you for what those cards are showing here uh, should that be developing into your personal life you can expect to experience uh, some kind of an unfolding love and, and and as well a growth into a personal relationships into career a promising openings are gonna show up for you towards the middle of the month uh, we're gonna dive into it a little bit more deeper but towards the end of the month you can expect to have yourself see or rather like seeing yourself finish the majority of uh, of the job and finish the majority of the uh, demands so starting up here the month with uh, the uh justice the accompanied card to it or rather like the catalyst is going to be the ace of pentacles so these two cards they are a active new uh, active enemies and what though what they are speaking about are a activities and and uh responsive even they are responsibilities not just only activities but responsibilities which are going to be unexpected from your behalf so take it that way you are uh, truly pressing into a particular direction because you you find it important right but suddenly at the start of november here and there <clears throat> aspects are starting to to demand your attention now because that's a general reading i cannot say for certain how this is going to turn out or rather like how this is going to play out for the uh for every single one of you but for the majority of you these are going to be cracks what i mean is that uh, as you under as you have your undertakings and you have left the rest of your uh possessions so to speak or establishments thinking that they are sound and secure suddenly some of them as you think that they are very very strong they're going to turn out not to be as strong as you think they're going to turn out to be more fragile than you have expected and therefore it will require your attention to come back to them and kind of like stabilize them so i don't want to freak you out here guys but at the start of the month you for example may realize that let's say your social circle is not as stable as you think it is you may see that for example your marriage is not as solid as solid as you think it is or your job 
<clears throat> and, and these aspects that are going to turn out to be more fragile than strong are going to be those that you thought are strong. So you're not investing in them uh, extra, right? You're maintaining, but you're not investing into them extra. Now, the good thing about those cards, it is that things are not beyond uh, the point of no return. In fact, for the most of you, uh, you are going to catch them right as things are starting to go south. And uh, for the most of you, um, the sustainability or rather like the fix is going to be very, very easy. For others uh, or for a small portion, that's... I don't know how to how to even put it into words, but for a small for a small portion of you, cancer, the thing that for example things are going to sort themselves out on their own accord, or you are uh, neglecting the importance of the situation, then things can escalate, and in fact, some of you may lose uh, a lot from the situation if you do not attend those kind of like senses of emergencies right uh right away and uh afterwards when you manage this crisis here uh the star card appears for you so that is uh, towards the middle of the month and the accompanied card for the start for the star card is going to be the lovers these two so in the overview of the reading i said that that could be an unfolding love and it will be uh, well, it, it may feel like a miracle to you. Uh, that is because if that's about an unfolding love and you are, say, single, the person that you are going to start falling in love with is going to be unlike anything you have been falling for up until this moment in your waking life. You will not share a single interest. You're not going to share a single... Um, preference you're not gonna share a single hobby you're not gonna share a single view over life you're not gonna share anything there will be nothing literally in common in between you and that person and that's gonna be the beauty of it because what i like to say especially in cards that are following up like uh, like this by the way they are a active supporters those two uh it is that in these moments we do realize that not the commonalities are what binds people together but rather the differences are actually making us special to one another because otherwise we are double of one of the same right and there is no point of that and uh, in those situations that very much depends on how you look at them okay on the situation itself but if you do look at it as an opportunity for you to explore a new part of life, you know, a new, a new hobbies, for example, new enterprises, new passions, new activities, things are going to turn out in between you and that individual very, very well. Uh, of course, those of you who cannot see beyond their own interests, Things are not going to work out very, very well. And uh, in a sense of that, you're going to miss that opportunity. And later down the road into the future, you may find yourself uh, regretting it. That is when it comes to personal life in the middle of the month for you guys. Now, uh, in terms of your career into the middle of the month, um, you will have the sense that you have to be very careful and that a lot is riding on uh, on the train and a lot is riding on the train here with those couple of cards but what you may not realize at that stage is that whatever you do is going to be the right thing to do actually right it, 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 what my point here is it is that you cannot change the destination you are going at least at that given moment only thing you can change is how you're going to get there are you uh, are you going to take the plane or are you going to drive a bus to that point where are you gonna hop on the train and reach that destination whichever the case you are gonna um, basically end up being there now in the grand scheme of things at the middle of the month you can expect to be suffused with uh, with harmony around you 
And also what you are going to start observing is that problems you do have are going to start literally melting down and resolving themselves in their own accord. And um, things little by little, either into your career or either into your personal life, they're going to start reciprocating to your standards and to your views as well. So in other words, the way you want things to happen, they're going to start happening that way, at least at the middle of November 2022. So I do advise you to really write that particular tide for as long as you can. And uh, afterwards, uh, your card is a five of uh, five of pencils. And uh, the accompanied card, that's going to be the uh, Nine of Swords. So we do have these two. Now they are a passive enemies. <laughs> that's going to be a very... Oh my God, the word was delusion. No, it's not delusion. How? I don't know how to explain it. I, I don't know the English word now for a fact. I don't know the Bulgarian word of it. So this is how it stands. Now, after you go through that thriving period of time, you're going to be, mm, you're going to be happy of, of your accomplishments for the first half of uh, the month of November. And uh, you're going to find yourself uh, in a, in front of a threshold, let's put it that way. So in front of a threshold that you gotta grow. And in order to grow, you have to readopt some of your lifestyles. For example, you will have to kind of like uh, double time your performance at work if you wanna grow at work. Or you will have to adopt a new activities when it comes to your personal life. Now, the problem with all that is that you are gonna have the impression that these new adaptations are going to threaten or jeopardize, so to speak, aspects of your life that you are preaching for. And in other words, you are going to be very concerned that that is going to change you and you're not going to be yourself if you go down that road. Now, in reality, for at least as these cards stands, there isn't much for you to be afraid of, okay? Uh, let me tell you that and, and explain it to you with example. So let's um, give an example that uh, you are going to start falling in love for someone that is completely different from what you are and you're going to see that those differences are making you special for one another um, in the middle of the month. And you're going to start realizing that if you want that thing to keep up, you know, you have to meet somewhere in the middle, right? Because otherwise you will think that they're going to leave you okay so this is where the fear really clashes with with the reality around you so the question is is it okay for you to um to change rather like to readopt a new lifestyles yeah it is but the more the more you adopt new lifestyles the more the the, the fear is going to kind of like give space so to speak the more you give yourself to the fear the more stagnant you will become to adapt and being agile and meet people and not just only people but also a uh, criteria halfway to the middle so uh, the important thing after the middle of the month when those thoughts are starting to settle down, things that you are afraid of, okay? What do you need to know is that this fear is petrifying and you cannot afford being petrified. Another thing that uh, those cards are showing up here, which some of you probably are not going to like hearing, but if you are facing certain problems after the middle of the month with your accomplishments from the first half of the month, uh, the relationship queue, uh, the job, and so on and so forth. Unfortunately, according to them, uh, it seems that they are th those problems you are facing are for a big portion because of you. And uh, readopting again your lifestyle is gonna help you 
secure your job or secure your relationship, secure your marriage and so on and so forth. It's all about the, the way we address, we address things or the way you address things uh, at the second half of the month. It is how well those things, uh, whether uh, friendships, relationships, business opportunities are going to turn out uh, for you. And uh, at the end of the month for you, Cancer, uh, we do have the world, uh, which is going to be accompanied by uh, Temperance. So these two cards. And uh, they are a passive neutrals. So what happens at the end of the month, actually, according to them, it is that you can, can I put it into words? Um, When you, right, so uh, at the end of the month, you will accomplish a, a, a culmination of things, so to speak. What that means, it is that at the end of the month, if you end up being in a relationship, you are going to stay in that relationship, okay? But if you decide that you don't want to be in that relationship, you're not going to be in it for good. So the end of the month is very important because whatever you establish for yourself, that is going to be there to stay for at least next six months to a one year. That's the easy part of the explanation. Now, after you are okay with your establishments or after your establishments are defined at the end of the month, it will be a time for you to decide what you are going to do next. And this is where the end of the month becomes a little bit more complicated because uh, with the temperance being neutral to the world uh, you are gonna uh, kind of like feel like you are on a roller coaster okay for example um, at 9 a.m of the morning you are going to be very eager to undertake everything that life is kind of like throwing you away and then at 10 30 a.m you are going to be like i don't think that i'm gonna be able to handle much more you know so it's it's gonna be these shifts of enthusiasm ambitions and, and how far you alone are willing to go uh, moving forward because not just only fatigue and exhaustion or even a, a fear of losing things around because whenever you invest into something new you always you know risk losing something else but also it will be this uh, perception that, you know, you have your accomplishments, you, you basically establish whether, uh, a, new, uh, whether a, a business opportunity, a client or, uh, or some kind of a, uh, introduction relationship. And if you constantly kind of like establish a new goals or rather like a new agendas in front of yourself, how much time you do have to enjoy what you currently uh, you know, accomplished. So this is also going to be a question that you will have to answer yourself at the end of the month. Uh, and mind you, the next uh, perspective of yours to enjoy your life is also a, a very, very good perspective. Having the temperance to uh, be neutral to the world, it kind of means that you can actually go to the extreme here, okay? You can extremely well, for example, indulge yourself with your accomplishments, or you can place in front of yourself a extremely difficult uh, uh, <clears throat> enterprise, you know, or you can fall into a extreme idleness, being idle about anything around. So that's why you got to be very, very careful at the end of the month, how you actually decide to proceed after you establish your accomplishments. Because uh, from, from that is going to be defined probably how the month of December is going to play out for you, Cancer. And are you going to have a good uh, holidays at the end of the year? Or you will have to kind of like um, face them with the sweat on your forehead. So with that said, Cancer, that was your monthly tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.